28 years ago, when he arrived from Senegal, he could hardly speak a word of German. He came to study chemistry, which he now holds a doctorate degree. Little was it thought then that he would make it to the federal legislature. Karimba Diaby's election into the German parliament is a historic win. Everything was a little exciting with me because the list wasn't decided so quickly. We didn't know exactly who would get through and how many. I went to bed without knowing that I'd become a member of parliament. And then when I woke up, I looked on the internet early, on the German parliament website, and I found my picture and my CV and everything configured very professionally. And that was the pleasant surprise of the day. Born in 1961, he grew up as an orphan and was raised by his sister. Shortly after his move to Hull, Diaby says he often felt isolated as a student at the Hull University in the then communist and overwhelmingly white East Germany in the 1980s. This discrimination did not deter his path to success. The handyman and chemist whose lives have changed dramatically after the fall of the Berlin Wall is what stoked his interest in local politics. It was not easy to win support, in part because of his skin color, but the locals were intrigued by this polite, German-speaking young black man collecting water and soil samples. When asked how he feels about his election, There's a little bit of excitement there and curiosity, of course, about what's coming. Diaby had to give up his Senegalese passport to become a German citizen, a requirement that still rankles. The other black lawmaker elected this year into the German parliament was Charles Harbour of Chancellor Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats. Unlike Diaby, Harbour was born in Germany to a German mother and a Senegalese father. It will remain to be seen if Diaby's election will improve race relations in the country. Alan Kiprop for CCTV. <laughs>